Howdy, my name's Fitz. You may know me from this podcast, or perhaps you know me from my channel on YouTube, also Fitz. Uh, I'm here to let you know, before this episode starts, that this is a really great podcast. It's a great episode. It's a really good conversation about porn and horror movies. Uh, but the audio got a little scuffed this time. There was a bit of echo issues, a few kind of like, uh, it, it was just kind of scuffed, basically. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. There's nothing we can do to fix it. It's still a really good episode. But if you notice that there's some echo or like some, like we're, we're all kind of talking at once and it sounds kind of weird. Uh, sorry, like it's not that bad, but I'm just letting you know before you tweet me about it. Like, oh my God, this episode, shut the fuck up. All right. It's fine. Okay. I get it. It's fine. All right. Cool. All right. Enjoy the episode. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fuck off. Keep, keep going, keep going, guys. Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by uh, Tobox. Add me on Xbox. Da, 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 da. He says, All right, shut da, up now. Da, da. Shut the fuck up now. Go on, guys. Too long. <laughs> fuck. Welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by Tobox. Add me on Xbox. He says, Very, very no. handsome. I'm not going to add him on Xbox. But he calls that like podcast a plug? handsome. Maybe to have an he Xbox. He just plugged his own. He, call, he uh, plugged his own Xbox. That's cool. He also called that podcast handsome. You know, you yeah. got to. It's an equal trade. Oh, that was so good. So much. One for one. I think our podcast is beautiful. It's not handsome. It's both. Why Sexy. not? At least it's not cute. Yeah. At least it's just not a cute podcast. podcast. Kawaii. <laughs> our podcast is fucking <laughs> the most kawaii. Podcast. I'm watching too much anime. Oh, I love anime so much. Guys, uh, this is Mr. Podcast. I'm joined today by my co host, Toby. Um, hello. All right, a little more enthusiasm. Can you, might be Toby, can you get off the phone and like? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm doing business. Okay, so uh, get off uh, my phone. I am Toby. Hello. Hello. Also joined by Eric Vivian Matthews himself. How are you? Call me Jamie or Andy or Swagger Soul, as he's formerly known. Mason's here as well. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? All well. Oh, uh, awesome. Thanks for that. Cycles very cheerful. Jay's here too. Yo, McCreamy's in the oh, house, and uh, Matt as well as oh. here. What it do? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. that's a new one. What a harmonious start to the episode, guys. Super when, cool. When you said Jay's here too, and then said McCreamy's yeah. in the house, it sounded like you were introducing two separate people. Well, I was only addressing a split persona. Yeah. Ah. Oh. See, by day, Jay is a family-friendly Fortnite yes, channel. By night, he's Jay, and he molests yes. children. <laughs> no. As most Fortnite channels do. No. Uh, no, I haven't done that one. Upstairs, you're like, I'm oh, fucking these kids. He's gonna kill me. Yeah. Jay never had another sponsored video. That's right. Got the wrong bloke. Guys, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> What's not going not on? What are we doing? Uh, I don't know. Jacked off earlier. You jacked off earlier? Yeah. How earlier? About 30 minutes before I woke mm. up. Now this is- this Wait, is, uh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, 30 minutes before oh, no, I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> So there I was in the middle of my REM cycle and I decided to check off. <laughs> no, it was maybe it was maybe thirty minutes after I woke up. It, it, the train of thought was I'm funny that in led the morning. to it. Because Fuck you. I can do what I want. Jacking off in the morning adult. is so bad for your productivity. It's terrible. I never jack off. Morning uh, wankers are just lesser people. Here was how yeah, I saw it. Here was, here was how sleep. I saw it. I was about to go into the shower. And so I had it heating up. I had my math rock playing. My playlist was solid. Yep. And I was like, Play was a man, solid my morning erection. wood hasn't gone away <laughs> for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And I can't have morning wood in the shower because it just fucking bumps into everything. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Be how big is your morning wood? Don't answer that. <laughs> 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 or how small is your shower is a better question. <laughs> I got, I got an ensuite. It's pretty. It's pretty roomy. Right. I have an ensuite like, by the way. So I mean, the having an ensuite is pretty lit, isn't it, Swagger? I mean, dude, it's so we good. We don't have to leave our bedroom yeah, to, to go to the bathroom. I had to fucking clean out our bathroom shower. It was disgusting. I had to like pull the drain out and like put on a glove and pull all the hair out. At least Maybe you don't, don't, have, have, to I don't, I don't even sure. have to do that. You guys know what's even better than having an ensuite? Huh? Having your own house? That's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Big flex over there. Okay, so but do you have an ensuite? I've got an ensuite and then a second bathroom. And just in case I'm feeling cheeky, I got a third bathroom as well. Okay, oh, that's damn. pretty epic. You that got three bathrooms? Just three yeah. places to snort coke off the counter. <laughs> that's damn right. Uh, so you jacked off this morning? Yeah. Was it actually this morning or was it an afternoon? It was this morning. Okay. Um, what time? Actually, when did I wake up? 11.30, so, so I think right before noon. So we're talking about 11.54? 
34. Live in 54. Live in 54? I don't Do know about 54. Probably like around 1145. Okay. Yeah, that's a Do good time. Do you think you started in AM and ended in PM? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, I was doing cool. this. You, you, ever, you ever, like, you're browsing for porn and you're just like, that's a good video, but... Let me see what else there is. Maybe there's a better one. <laughs> and, then, and then before you know it, 15 minutes have gone by of you like keeping your wood like hard as a rock, like petrified. And then you, then you have like 20 tabs open. And you're like, oh, it's a fucking good thing you got two monitors. <laughs> <laughs> swagger, swagger. No, one, no one in the world does this but you. My strat, Swagger, is... I love uh, being special. <laughs> this is unique. <laughs> My strat is I'll, I'll, I'll won't, I won't start until I've got a decent plethora of tabs. Mm-hmm. So right. it's like, you know, playlist. you go on Pornhub or whatever, <laughs> you know, you, um, uh, not sponsored, uh, you, you I grab a bunch myself. of, a bunch of tabs open of thumbnails, so you're like, that looks good. And then I'll, you know, click on one, I'll skip through it and I'll close it if it's not good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. Ah, not enough daddy issues. And then issues. once Next I've one. gone through all of the tabs, I will return to my favorite for the climax. Mm. Do you like so the I, videos? I, have, I narrow it down to Do you like tabs. and subscribe? <laughs> 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 comment. Comment too. <laughs> this was a very good ejaculation. Thank you very much. I enjoyed this. I will certainly be tuning in. I on it. <laughs> I will certainly be tuning in for this next uh, <laughs> this channel. So uh, back to your roots. I refresh to get the ad. <laughs> so yeah, assume these routine, guys don't have a creator code. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. That's so back to your routine. Uh, what happened? You put on your math rock. You um, Yeah, put on my playlist. Okay. Fucking jam so down to So what's the BPM? I think. Or what's the beats per minute? I don't. Dude, that's things. math rock, dude. Oh, I, the, no, 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 really no, I'm not talking about the math rock. Are you talking about like time signature? Or are you talking about beats per minute? Beats per minute. Beats per minute. Oh, fuck. Um, probably. I have, probably have to go, I have to go pretty <laughs> quick. Really? I have to three. I slow <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't know who can actually ejaculate from slowly stroking their cock. I don't get it. I just have to go. <laughs> and then, and then and eventually, it's like a fucking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You just gotta like, uh, you know, harness that energy. Do it a slow, harness a slow stroke's energy. actually really nice. I'm just saying. Put no. it out there. Burn if you guys want to try it at home, just stroke it slow. If you're a woman, stick your finger in your ass. Okay, well. <laughs> I wasn't exactly going to say that. I thought that would go under the radar. But, no, uh, that was actually very clear what you just said. Yeah, Everyone heard you. Sorry. Um, yeah. But I mean, you can do that if you want. It probably feels awesome. Well, you go slow, <laughs> stick your finger up your ass, and then you spit on yourself. Spit on yourself. Whoa, yeah. what it's the like fuck? a self-humiliation thing? Do you like spit up in the air and have it like yeah, come back and hit you in the face? Spit up in the air. If you're lucky, you can yeah. catch the spit in your mouth. Hey, this uh, what, if I'm, what if I'm, what if I'm too <laughs> powerful and the loogie gets stuck on my <laughs> ceiling? A, this why is you just gotta you just gotta learn to harness your energy? Oh, and, this is so yeah. gross. Why is the so podcast gross. gone from like drugs know. to just so masturbation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we started with the Halo Q and uh, now we're here. Before, anyways, before I moved to Melbourne, I was actually trying to quit porn. And then I moved here and started smoking weed, and then I was like, oh, shit, this shit's way too good to just fucking quit right now. I'll quit it later. <laughs> been there, been there. Do you have a favorite porn star? No, no, I'm an, I like amateurs. Same here. Um, it was too high production value. It just seems fake. I don't want to yeah. see your pores, you know what I'm I saying? I find it kind of weird when people have a favorite porn star. Or, like, yeah, if people can, yeah. like, name multiple yeah, yeah, porn yeah, stars. Yeah, exactly. like, that's a problem. Who, who does that? It's yeah. weird. If you've got well, like is that a, any different from like naming different strains of weed? It's like, what's your favorite weed, man? Oh, I like yeah, this, no, strain, this strain, this strain, this strain. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. poison, you know? If you stan Alexis Texas, like, you're going down a bad path. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Alexis Texas. Is this a real name? Yeah, it's a real name. It's a it's a fat ass porn star. Do you not watch porn, Matt? <laughs> I What's don't know about their names. Well, you jack, that. You, didn't you say like you only jack off like once a week? Well, it depends. Sometimes it'll be like once. Usually it's like I time it to like the days I go to the gym. Sometimes it'll be like every other day, every three. You don't want. You need to keep what, the semen in your sink. It's got a schedule. Can't, man. You just yeah. read. <laughs> I used to be like a daily jacker, but then you realize like it's just a waste of time, you know? It's just unproductive. Did you start growing fur on your hands? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, when I, because I quit porn for like a solid month before I moved here. What the fuck? Did you just use your imagination? Yeah. Uh, I, I use my imagination, but I turned, like, once I quit porn, I jacked off like once a week, twice a week. Yeah. But so really? Like, were, yeah. were you like floating? Uh, I was levitating. levitating. I levitating. You can talk to Gandhi Holy and all that shit. shit. I could lift cars. Uh, <laughs> he women. wasn't even like a solid human anymore. No. He, he had just become a gaseous creature. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, he he a gas giant. Holy yeah. shit! Jesus. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, like, it was hard for the first week, but once I was hard for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I, I, I wanted. Like, I think I, at some point I'm going to try and like completely quit porn because porn is like. 
I don't know. It's definitely, I'm not, I don't necessarily think it's bad, but I think that it's so easy to become a bad thing. You know, like it's you want to quit when you're in like the whole sex toy. If you're jacking off to like porn every day and you're doing like what you described, you have tabs like and all that tabs yeah, and you're spending like an good. hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's like that's not, bad. that's why I stopped. Like, it's like such a waste of time. Minutes. Such a waste of time. I remember you though. It must have been. And it's always just before I go to bed. All right. It was well, a new you get a pass from me, but I'm just saying. It was saying, a New like, Zealand athlete that um, was addicted to porn. Yeah. Yeah, runner, and he had, like fucking lost his wife and stuff. Yeah, yeah they, 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 used used to, they used to put porn at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, 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 and he would run. <laughs> he would run twenty uh, percent faster. <laughs> Terry Crews did the same thing. He got seriously addicted to porn, and like it started affecting his marriage and shit. Oh, really? So that's how he got ripped. <laughs> so one arm is just enormous. No, for real, like it's easily to slip into something where it's like, Jesus, I really did just watch that. Holy fuck! And not yeah. only did I watch that, I jacked off to it. And at the time, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and afterwards, I just fell out. I mean, like you can watch some weird shit. <laughs> did you guys hear that Terry Crews? Did, did you guys ever play Crackdown as a kid? No. no. Crackdown was this game. Essentially, it was kind of like GTA, but you played like a, a, crack a cop. Uh, you cool. played a cop, yeah. and you like throughout the campaign, things you would do, like if you if you punched a lot of like did a lot of melee combat you would get really muscly and it would mean that you could pick up more stuff it was a really cool game really cool concept but they released the third one recently and you play the entire campaign as terry cruz oh holy well, shit and it's it's pretty epic it's the Brooklyn game's terrible, nine nine. but terry cruz makes up for it is he is terry cruz in the game or is yeah, he just yeah yeah he, he, voiced he it? did all the voice lines and the character is completely so modeled. Power. do you start off like super skinny at first and then get bigger I think so. That'd yeah. be so weird seeing like a skinny t uh, Terry Crews. You know, I'm just not That's used true. to that. That's Jesus. true. I'm just Wait, random guy. Oh, it's Terry Crews. <laughs> how mainstream is this game? If Terry Crews did the voice work for it's it, it's not that mainstream. The game, it's like the third. The first game probably came out like 15 years ago, and then the second game was like a couple of years after. Oh, yeah, that. and then they just haven't made anything until recently. They just they didn't do a lot of fucking press about it. Uh, I, I, I think I think they were working on it for ages, and they kept pushing it back. And Microsoft was like, "No, nah, you're not allowed to push it back anymore." They released it. The game was trash, and uh, it was a huge disappointment. Hmm. Yeah, the good old Battlefield That's approach. I like such it. A, like, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, speaking of Battlefield, the new Battle Royale has come out yeah. for mm -hmm. Battlefield Five. Have played you played it? Yet? I have. Thoughts you and prayers. Have played it yet. Server? Dude, it, 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 okay, here's the most frustrating thing about the fucking Battlefield Five thing for me, and I think it's based off of the fact that we're in Australia, because when I try to play it, oh hey, look, I have to wait five minutes to get in and then i have to wait an extra five minutes yeah. in the in the fucking like opening cinematic and then going into the hangar and then the game starts and then it's another three minutes until i'm on the ground and then you just get fucking shot and oh, then i have to do yeah. it all over again what like, happened to me i tried streaming it you wait like five minutes to get into a server then you get into the server and it's like 280 ping and I'm like, oh great so i waited right. all this time to queue for an american server yeah. oh, shit. that's Christ. the one thing i found when moving here from america is all the aussie servers take so long to queue for now like well, america is just so easy to get any server yeah. for any yeah. game instantly in the middle of the day the australian servers are really quiet down because yeah. people have jobs here but yeah. in america the unemployment yeah, is so like, high that you guys just have like <laughs> you guys have like the servers are just easy to connect to all yeah the it's like 10 a.m i'm like why the fuck can't i find a game <laughs> oh, wait, <it's> <laughs> I mean, the gameplay's all right. I, I enjoy it. I like Battlefield Combat. I remember mm. uh, my the first game I got in, I got a car 98K, and then a guy passed through in a tank, and there was a guy like on top of the machine gun, and they were just fucking going through, and I just lead the shot and just fucking headshot the guy out of the... Out of the tank and Only then battlefield. Exactly. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It felt so good. It felt I, just that. I love those players. And then the one. fucking headshot thing came up, and I was like, God damn, I'm good. I don't know. God like, bless America. I, I can't relate to you guys. When I played it, I connected instantly to a server. I didn't even notice the hyping because I didn't check, but I probably was in an American server. And I had a good game. Like, what I time do you reckon you played? It was like midday. So I got mm -hmm. in like like immediately. I enjoy it. And uh, I had fun. I thought it played really well. I, I think it's got its issues, though. I see a lot of people complaining on Reddit and stuff. It's got work to be done, but that's the case for any Battlefield launch. Like, Battlefield game comes out, in Gotta six months, like it's year. perfect. Yeah. Like, that's how yeah, the game the always Battlefield, works. This isn't the launch. Battlefield 1 came out fucking ages ago. This is Battlefield 5. Yeah, but yeah. it stopped being good after 3. It just slowly has gone down. I mean, it's not the launch, but it's the launch of the new game mode, which is a bunch of new mechanics and... UI thing like the UI yeah. seems to be the main thing people are complaining I think about. Is EA killed one of their biggest games about six years ago. What's that? Was Battlefield Heroes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, played Heroes? I mean, it doesn't matter what the biggest game is because all that matters is FIFA because FIFA is the only one that makes them all the money.
Yeah, and they make like the seven hundred billion dollars from FIFA. It's what? Because all the from fucking all the packs. Yeah. Jesus, that fucking boggles my mind that sports games are as popular as they are. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, every I year they never, release a new one. It's just roster I, changes. It's I never like, got into Madden. I never got into yeah. fucking yeah. NBA yeah, yeah, 2K. Yeah, been in whatever. I like the fuck. FIFA. It's, really it's seven hundred million, not billion. I seven hundred uh, trillion. If I Fortnite, if I ever wanted to like play sports, I'd go out and do them. Oh, and yeah, I don't want to do yeah. that. <laughs> That's such a like yeah. old person. Jimmy no, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Same thing. So you play sports in a video? Why don't you just go outside? <laughs> darn, I don't can't understand it. Because I'm kidding. Like, here's things. the thing about sports games. They're really, really popular in like niche communities. Like in the UK, yeah. there's a huge FIFA yeah, scene. Of, like, that's like what you do when you go. Like you guys play Smash. UK boys yeah, play and FIFA. Also, usually like, the people that play the sports games, they they don't just play the games. They also play it in real life. Right. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, it, it's, it's like soccer and shit's massive. Yeah, the appeal yeah. is you're an avid sp- fan of the sport, and you get to customize a team with all your star players right, and yeah. play as them. Like that's the whole. So if you're not into sports, sports. And, like you're not going to get the games. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. NBA, two K, and stuff's massive. That's, you made America. a good point, Toby, about like the people that play the sports games. At least like play the sports. You know, you look at like any of the fighting games. You see all the people playing those in the pro tournaments. They're not in any shape to be. Like fighting and shit. You know, MMA fighters don't play Smash. Yeah. <laughs> and MMA games are super not popular. I don't yeah. think. Like they're like the least popular. Apparently, well, they're also they're, trash. Yeah, it's, that's why they're not popular. Because yeah. they're so bad. I like the like the MMA ones where you could mod the characters to be like Homer Simpson fighting Peter Griffin, and then I just oh, watch yeah. that that's shit on epic. YouTube. Dude, who would even win in that fight? Let's Homer talk about Simpson it. versus. Peter Griffin. I say Peter because he's got all that experience fighting the chicken guy. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, Peter. Remember those like long, like five minute fight sequences on Family Guy where he's just beating the shit out of a guy in a chicken suit. Yeah, he, he has do power. That in Smash though. No, it's not a guy in a chicken. Yeah, yeah. Suit. Oh, it's a literal chicken, chicken, isn't it? Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Homer, on the other hand, is just like a fat ass. No, yeah. he he gets sing cats. He's got the plate in his head, doesn't he? He's got a plate in his head. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, there's a there's an episode where Homer he becomes a pro boxer. Yeah, and it uh, turns out that he just doesn't go down. Like, oh, he just yeah. gets the shit kicked yeah. out of him. So maybe, maybe maybe Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson is what happens when the immovable object meets the unstoppable force. This is what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a clash like, of titans. They literally will just go forever and implode. Yeah. Yeah, and then you think Peter would, would get fuse? a scrape on his knee and it goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would, they would literally combine into one ultra being of comedy. Homer Griffin. Homer Griffin. <laughs> 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 Peter Simpson. I'm trying to think of like his catchphrase, but I mean, Peter's catchphrase is a Me laugh. Go! <laughs> it <was something> like <laughs> no. Donuts. <laughs> that was cringe. I'm sorry. That yeah. was like the worst. Did you like, get a yeah, five stars on iTunes for Peter Griffin fused with Homer Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> Just get a couple of five stars. Can you please DM the Misfits Twitter account at Misfits with just a bunch of pictures of how Peter Griffin would look like? <laughs> yeah. Just at us. Yeah. Let's flood our mentions with that, yeah. please. That would Homer just be Griffin. so outstanding. I want to see that. And don't even rip some shit from Google Images. I want to see <laughs> artist renditions. We have talented and artists. It's, it's a call out to, to all of the artists in our community. Homer Simpson mixed with Peter Griffin. Now, what, guys, what is a better show, The Simpsons or Family Guy? Oh. D- depends on the season. Uh, yeah. well, like, You're right. I was looking up how many oh, episodes God. are in both. Simpsons has like 675 and Family Guy has like 300. Early Bruce Simpsons? Simpsons? Why think, the fuck are we looking this up? I don't know. <laughs> I think, oh, I was looking at animes, how many episodes the longest one had. Uh, 9,000 episodes. Oh, oh did what? you Wait, finish? Have you finished The Promise Netherland, by the no, way? The anime? Okay. Well, that, that should just finish the first season. And let me just tell you, shit's nice. So. To all the people who have been tweeting me because I put you onto that show, you're welcome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, great show. Just moving bricks. Fucking but yeah, let's get back to the proper discussion, which is Family Guy versus The Simpsons. The Simpsons. The Simpsons. I don't think this, the, that Family Guy can compete with The nah. Simpsons. No. Earlier, earlier seasons, earlier seasons, earlier seasons well. of The Simpsons. Uh, earlier. Oh. Yeah, like that was, they packed so many jokes in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Family Guy is pretty And they were well written. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah, the actual comedians were working on it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not just Seth MacFarlane getting high and be like, man, it'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, St. Peter has a flashback. It's like that time when <laughs> I. <Yeah. laughs> family Guy, Family Guy, first couple of seasons, really, really good. It was funny. Yeah, like, for, can, I think it almost hit its like its prime in it, like its midterm. You know, what that's I mean? more. So I don't think it's I mean. ever been that great though. It's, 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 it's just just been background. hit or miss. Like it's like background yeah. shit. And then you but, find yourself chuckling to it as you yeah. fucking fold yeah. the laundry. For, for me, I mean, it's it was definitely funny to me when I was younger, which is when I yeah. watched most of the Family yeah. Guy. But I remember it being like pretty miss most of the time. But when it hits, it hits hard. It's like fun. it's a good joke, you know, and it's solid. Like the Rock Lobster. Oh, <laughs> who votes? Who votes? Who, who votes Simpsons? Me. I'm oh, Simpsons. No, just raise your hands. So the raise listeners your hands. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I vote Simpsons. I mean, yeah, it's, I it's unanimous. I think it's unanimous. Yeah. Well, okay. But obviously, Futurama is better. Challenger yeah. approaches. I love Futurama. Futurama. South Park. South Park plays Park. into the mix. South Park. South Park. South Park. South Park. Is I finally watched that one um, documentary I recommended me. Was it oh, Six yeah. Days There? Uh, yeah, Seven Days to Air. I think it's called. Maybe it's Six Days. I think to six, air. Days yeah, yeah. six Days. Six Days to Air. Yeah. Really good documentary on like the how they make South Park. Um, have you seen it? Yeah. Really good. I would recommend anyone look up on YouTube Six Days to Air. The most interesting guys, part I saw was like they took acid, then went to like the Oscars or some shit. Yeah, like what the God fuck? hell yeah! They dressed up in dresses too. Yeah, it's, like, it's those one of those things crazy. that I always like. You know, every now and again when I'm just looking at weird shit on YouTube, I I've watched that probably like ten times, and it's just because so you know, good. really late at night you'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, it would come up on recommend, and you'd be like, yeah, I'll watch that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. such a great documentary, yeah. and it's really like, I don't know, as a YouTuber, I think you can relate to that documentary totally, a lot as yeah. well mm -hmm. because they go through this weekly cycle of. Oh, shit, we're gonna get the content. I gotta make it. Gotta make the show. Gotta make the show. And then they'll make it, and by the deadline, only just. And then they'll hate it with a passion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the next day when they release it, like fuck, it's so bad. I want to die. Like oh fuck, yeah. this sucks. Mm -hmm. And then like after Kinda a couple days, on. they're like, okay. It was, yeah, I love how they were good. doing the um the interview while they're doing the interview. Is the episode that was like one of the funnier ones, or like one of the most well known ones. And then yeah. the entire time, like this is horrible. This is shit. yeah. It was the um the World of Warcraft episode, mm -hmm. uh, such a good episode, which was sponsored by World of Warcraft, I believe. Like Probably. they got paid to make yeah. that, so they felt like they were selling yeah, it out. Yeah. And they felt like it was their worst creation ever. And I remember as a kid so watching funny. that. That was, was such yeah, a funny. Yeah, they were like so a good audience too. Yeah, it's like the best, the, one of the best episodes of South Park. Uh, and that World what's Warcraft interesting was. about it is they only have the um, the deadline. Like the, they only put themselves through the six days of hell because they know that that's how they get the best out of it. No yeah. other cartoon does it like that. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, it's like, oh yeah, we get the entire season done and then we release it. Whereas South Park, it's like, nope, we release it the day before the episode's about to air. Yep. You know, yeah. it's like. I love how they literally oh. have the one lady that's like dedicated, like she sits on the phone's like, okay, yeah. this is the fucked up joke, reads it off. It's like, are we okay with that? Is that okay yeah. to put on yeah. the yeah. 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 Here's the next one. Double check. Yeah, so they put they put their mouth glued to their ass. Actually, no, it's yeah. sewn together. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna show the sewing part. We can cut that out. Might leave it in. Okay, okay, that's good. All right. Just to call the people in charge of the censorship and be like, yeah, so there's like 18 cunts, a couple of shits in there, a lot of fucks to see. A lot of assholes. Okay, so we've got to tone back on the fucks. Okay, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> With like graphic detail about what's happening. So then our Steve Jobs takes a shit on his chest. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's so, hilarious. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the reason they, they put that time limit on, uh, limit on themselves as well is because they just know that if they don't, they'll just get lost in like constantly trying to make the episode yeah, better, better. Yeah. which I can also yeah. heavily relate to yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know has made me want to set a strict deadline for myself until being I realize a, that being a perfectionist about it you know exactly, it'll never you know, get done you'll never, never be done. satisfied yeah. with it yeah which is what I kind of go through on a fucking monthly basis with my main channel now but hopefully uh <laughs> well, we move it away from monthly uploads on that <laughs> those are rookie so, numbers yeah. you bump those up oh, you I get know. on the two or three yeah. four month uploads yeah I gotta go in that that mat schedule <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> how's your how's your new vlog coming along it's doing good i finally got like a good like timeline any, like framework for the video any like, what sneak clips. any sneak uh peeks on what might be shown to the to the audience or are you just going to keep this a massive secret until I just, you like, keep it a secret then just release it i yeah. feel like that's the best way to do it yeah, that feels hype for it hell yeah brother hell yeah um what else has been going on ah <sighs> uh, a lot Everyone's trying to convince me to see uh us a therapist us tonight this oh. this, we'll horror this new horror movie by uh well, directed by Jordan Peele, um, who made, who directed Get Out, yeah, and was right. obviously co-star of the Key and Peele show. And uh, I don't want to go. I don't. I don't like horror movies. I yeah. found that I watching that um the group chat when you guys were talking about it <laughs> made me laugh so hard because I went to the movies. Have you, you guys have seen it? Right? It, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Bits and I went to go see it together. Yeah. It is, not a scary movie. No, no, no. It, it was kind of scary. No, it wasn't scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just know from like the from being friends with Fitz for so long, I just know that he doesn't really deal with horror things. So reading that chat, yeah. when Sam was trying to convince him to see it, and Fitz was like, "There is nothing you can say that will make me see this movie." I was laughing so hard in my room, dude. Because I, I was like, ah, oh, because I, I knew it was by Jordan Peele I know like I really wanted to see Get Out I haven't right. seen it yet I think wow. Get Out is a movie I could handle yeah, and I've heard it like I mean it won awards it's an, a great movie apparently and I love Jordan Peele so I was like okay I want to watch that and when Sam was like let's watch Us I was like okay maybe I'll see this one and I looked up the trailer mm. Literally shat my pants to watch the trailer. <laughs> like, oh, this is like, I don't even know what I would not be tonight. able to my like, favorite deal. line from you in the group chat was when uh, you just watched the trailer and you say 
I live alone, guys. <laughs> 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 Dude, I don't understand. Like, you don't understand. That was what happened with it as well. Like it, when I watched it with you, it was at night. It was okay. Like I walked out, I was like, huh, that, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Like I actually dealt with the horror movie pretty well. Um, and then like I drove home and then I was alone. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a trade off you get for having the extra bathroom all to yourself. Uh, that's like, it's that's scary. A and yeah, cause like, and it was just an isolated kind of like, well, it wasn't, it's an apartment, right? So it's not isolated, but I yeah. feel isolated. I feel like, yeah, you're not like this weird being alone in your around. house. It's so quiet. You're, yeah. not a, you're not a fan of horror. I can't do, I look what, here's what happened. When I was a kid, uh, I watched like the jigsaw movies, oh, right. same, way, too same. Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. way too young, like oh, way yeah. too young. That shit, like literally fuck with my psyche. I'm pretty sure. Cause I can't deal with like, uh, going to a horror movie or even like seeing a trailer. It'll literally put me in like a paranoid state of mind for hours after watching it every time. But like, fuck, just be a little on edge, you know, it's like, wild. I just, I, I, it just fucks with my, all my adrenaline like goes up and shit. And yeah, I don't know. So. I, I, I can relate in some way, uh, from when I was young. When I was when I was a kid, my family the house like everyone's bedrooms was on one side of the house, mm -hmm. and then my bedroom was on a floor up, on the other side of the house. So it was like I was I had the entire floor to myself. Yeah, so I was kind of separated from the rest of the family. And when I was pretty young, I was probably like eleven. I had a little iPod Nano, which was those the like really small mm -hmm. like rectangle iPad, uh, not iPads, iPods. And um, I used to put movies on it. And lie in my bed with the tiny screen and watch horror movies like <laughs> what? all night. Holy shit! Dude. And uh, I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. And yeah, there were a couple movies where it would be like, I'm pretty far away from everyone. What if someone you know came into my house right <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah, the movies that they're, fuck me up. They're like the the ones that could actually yeah, happen the realistic in real life. ones. Yeah. yeah, and exorcism movies because I'm yeah. like, I mean, people actually do exorcisms. What if this shit's real? Yeah, anything that <laughs> even has the vaguest possibility of entering like the realm of reality yeah. yeah i'm like fuck that like uh and the jigsaw <laughs> movies most horror movies like, aren't like that like the saw movies obviously they're so over the top uh but at the same time it's like what if there was some psychopath who made the shit and like or someone's gonna try to like, recreate watch. it or some shit yeah and i was like fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> you watch so, any of the stephen king movies no no uh well i watched it but that's it. right what about uh, uh, uh cujo no i don't know what that it, is it's like this mom and her kid drive out kind of like the middle of nowhere and there's this dog that got bit by something and it got rabies and like the dog basically killed like the person that owned the home of like the place they were going to stay and they were locked in their car and the dog was just outside rabid and just waiting for them to get out they had no food no water and they couldn't contact anybody so mm -hmm. the movie's based on this real premise that could happen which makes it scary yeah and they did this other one i forgot the name of it but that premise was even more fucked. It was this uh, older couple that was uh, going on this romantic getaway um, in like a very quiet neighborhood with nobody around over the summer. And so it starts with like they, they, they get to the house and then that night they go to have sex and the husband has a heart condition and he took Viagra. And <laughs> oh, what he, a horror. Jesus. And, well, he went to... Uh, you know, he handcuffed her to the bed oh, yeah. for raunchy oh, sex, oh. and he had a heart attack and died. And she was handcuffed oh, no. to the bed with nobody around. Fucking terrifying. That's like some. That's gonna fuck you up mentally for life. That's something yeah. that could like right, actually yeah, happen because that know? shit would happen. You know, like how long till they find like her? Watch the movie. Did uh, she die? Don't, don't spoil it. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch nah, it. Don't spoil uh, it. Dude, the movie. <laughs> the movie took that premise in a different direction than I wanted it to, and it was just kind of cheesy and fucking stupid. And I mean, it must the, be- ag The exposition was just fucking so cheesy and dumb. It must be pretty hard to pull, because like, once the event happens where the guy dies, what else is there to the movie? Like, well, she does like all this Mag like MacGyver shit, and uh, like to try to get the handcuffs yeah. off sounds and more escape. Like a and It kind of is, but- It's more like I don't know, man. They, they, took know. The, they took this really weird turn with it that just made me go like, this is fucking That's what I hate dumb. about like, Why the, did they ruin the fucking premise? It was so good, and they good just premise. fucking squandered it. That's, yeah, the thing about horror movies is that like, and as a kid, I can relate, because I was so curious about them. I, 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 seeked, I seeked it out. Like, I wanted to right. get scared. I was like, oh, because yeah. we had uh, this thing called, does it, do Americans have Sky? Like it's like TV. Yeah. It's like, it's like, so. it's like cable. TiVo and shit. Right. right. Just yeah, the right. network. It's just like a TV network where you can select like all the channels and, and yeah. fucking like schedule shit and all this crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And but like, like there in, was this in New Zealand, we had one option. Right? <laughs> yeah. I assume in America you have multiple. 
but, but anyway, like there were these movie channels and regularly they would play horror movies mm -hmm. and I would see them like on a Sunday morning as a kid, like my parents are still asleep and I'm like, put it on to see what's going on. Yeah. Some people get yeah, stabbed yeah. and I'm like, fuck, I regret it. I regret it. I regret right. it. I would have a nightmare that night. Um, so like, I don't know. I just, I just developed this early relationship with horror movies where it's like not worth my time. Like I just don't want to deal with the anxiety of ever, post horror movie stress. Have you ever seen Zodiac? No, I've big, seen the Zodiac. Big Killing Hall and oh. Robert Downey Jr. Oh. Such a good fucking movie because it's about the Zodiac killer, and uh -huh. they actually try to make it as legit oh, and I, as real as they possibly could. And there's just this part where he just goes up to two people in a park with a gun, wearing the same shit the Zodiac killer actually yeah. wore. Tied up the girl and tied up the guy and just started fucking stabbing them. Yeah, I, and it was just like, whoa, that's Jesus fucked. Fuck. That's fucked. Guys, yeah. I I watched um Mind Hunter on Netflix and I saw that. Mm -mm. That was all about um, it was it was it was fictional, but it was about real life events and real life serial killers mm -hmm. and like this FBI agent was he was he like he was some kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like officer an, of the law, and he was trying to get to the bottom of it. Fucking, it was a good show. Like it was well made. I actually game. enjoyed it, but yeah, I kind of. I got invested into it, and then I regret again invested into it because it actually scared <laughs> the shit out of Because it's like real does, shit. Does Black yeah, yeah. Mirror freak you out? <laughs> no, Black Mirror doesn't freak me out. Yeah, did you guys I mean, ever, like, as when you were younger, did you ever seek out banned movies? Nah. You mean, no. Like, no. Band I used to do that with my friends or? all the time. So we, no. would, we would find movies that were, you know, you'd find the ones that were banned in the most countries, and then you'd watch it. Yeah. Isn't so there like, one, like, a Serbian film? A Serbian film. Have was you seen one of that? Them, yeah, I've seen it. Twice. Oh, dude, that's it's like, banned in like 150 countries. Isn't that why is it so fucked? What's the plot, oh, it plot is, line what happened? Like, it is, is it? insanely fucked. There's a scene where a dad <laughs> son, like graphically <laughs> his son. Holy and shit. I'm pretty sure he <laughs> his son while <laughs> him and he Jesus, doesn't know that it's his son. I don't, don't want to hear, son. Don't don't want to hear this shit. He's, oh, he's got a bag over his head and he's being forced to do it. And then he finds out it's his son. I don't, want to see, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This just fucked up. Can we, can we just have that entire explanation just be a string of bleeps? That's fucking That's really ruined people's morning. Yeah, I feel like people are going to be putting this on like a morning commute. It's like, holy fuck. You lost my It's going to be a great day. Yeah, we asked for it, but I didn't expect it to be that. But fuck. Jesus. The other great ones that I watched as a kid. God, what the fuck uh, Megan is missing. Wait, the other great ones? You're like, <laughs> that one was great. <laughs> great ones. Me. Megan is missing Megan. was a banned movie. And I'm pretty sure the reason it was banned was because it was like one of those found footage movies. You know, the mm -hmm. fake, like paranormal activity yeah, and all that yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure at the time, nobody was like, I don't think there was proof that it wasn't actually found footage. And people thought that this guy, that it was actually just a, like, fucked up movie that was created by a person that kidnapped this girl. Yeah. Uh, and then there was yeah, uh, I heard about a cannibal holocaust, that. which I'm not sure it, if it's banned in that many countries, but at the end of a cannibal holocaust, all the actors were under contract that they had to disappear for an entire year so that everybody thought that the movie was real and that they actually died in the movie. And then they came out after a year and everyone was like, oh. You got us. But that you got movie, us. Scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> don't community. watch a Cannibal Holocaust if you don't like gore, because there's a scene in a Cannibal Holocaust where yeah. they skin a tortoise, la, 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 like la, take the la, shell la, off la, it, la, and it's la, la, a la, real la, tortoise. Right. And they actually do oh, it. Shit. Oh shit! It's disgusting. They get in like, trouble for that kind of shit. Because it's back when it's back when it's a really old movie, so it's back right, in the right, days right. where it was like, oh, who gives a shit if you kill an animal just to get? Yeah, dude, that old that old fucking like movies or the show or whatever, Milo and Otis with the fucking the cat and the dog. Oh yeah, that's an old one. They're like rolling down the hill. Like three Milos and three Otises fucking died during the filming. They had to keep replacing them. Like film industry was pretty fucked. Like in the eighties, nineties type shit. I've yeah, and it still is, guys. You're listening to the Misfits podcast. I'm sorry if we just gave you some trauma. Yeah, don't watch any of those movies. By the way, don't. They're pretty hard to find now as well because torrenting sites aren't as big as they used to be. But yeah, don't watch them. Just don't get into the habit of like intentionally disgusting yourself or freaking yourself out in general. Yeah, otherwise it'll turn out like me. There are better things. to Yeah, you're just numb to the fucking world. You can literally watch like anything as well. I don't care. <laughs> me, I'm not. I'm like, I'm fucking. I'm still super sensitive to horror movies and shit. And you know, you can call me a pussy if you want. And pussy? I probably pussy. am. But uh, you Bird. know, like, it's Bird. just one thing that it's like. Bird. It's not even that I'm afraid. Like, I'm not afraid of going to see us. I just know that. It, like, I would just rather not deal with it. Like, I know I'm yeah. not going to enjoy it, and I know that for the next three days, it's going to fuck with me. So, like, why would I put myself through that? So you're yeah. afraid of it. What are your thoughts on this, Mason? You think he's a pussy? 
Uh, I mean, I didn't really watch it either. <laughs> yes. Oh, two pussies. Dude, like, are, are you fr- do you have an issue with horror films? Nah, just haven't watched yeah. Saw. You haven't Don't, seen Saw? Nah, nah neither. Saw's well, not bad. Saw 1 apparently is actually a good film. I don't know about the other ones. but uh, I think like Saw 1, they were like, oh, this is a great concept. We make these fucking machines who kill people. The cancer guy is the guy that's killing everyone lit. And then the, the, the other fucking five movies afterwards were like, all right, so we're going to smoke a bunch of weed and take some acid and just think of the most fucked ways we can kill people. I think I think there is actually some of the movies that are, are actually considered good movies yeah. in the horror film industry, mm-hmm. but they're also so fucked up and I don't ever want to watch them yeah. again this, yeah. in my life. Literally, when I see, even if I see a video on my recommended with Jigsaw's face, yeah. I get PTSD for like eight years really? um, watching the movie. There's like, one oh, movie that it. I just refuse to watch. It's one horror movie and it's The Grudge. And that's really? I don't know. Like it, they come out I know, the, but the reason why is because I was like eight, and I was just watching YouTube and stuff, and I I accidentally found a video of like she was the, the girl or whatever. I will not watch it. She's on the staircase, and it's just it was just the noise, mm. and I just like it was just a still frame of the noise, and it literally put me into like, shock. Like, oh, was it like that. what noise? Like I had my headphones on. It was like the uh thing. The uh. the like the. Uh, Thing I don't know what it was. Should we, should we no, you can't. Watch this shit. And it literally, like, it literally fucked with me so hard that I just will never ever watch it because it I, just. I had a friend when I was younger who was also really into horror movies, but he took it to like the next level where he would go on like the gore websites. Ooh. You know those ones where it's like real gore, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, really fucked up shit that happens to people. Yeah, and you know he'd be. Like would have sleepovers and he'd be on his laptop and he'd be like, "Hey, look yeah, at I had this. a friend that did that and as I'd well." Just be like, it got oh, to the point where yeah. I was like, "Yeah, no, I, if you tell me to look at the laptop, I'm just not gonna look at anything." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. He'd look at yeah. like Pain Olympics yeah, and it's stuff. So, my oh, friend, yeah. I literally had a friend that did the exact same yeah. thing. I don't want to see that, that shit. We, so, we did Pain Olympics on the school computer. Oh, in Jesus. middle school, like Pain Olympics is fucked. It's fun. We would I've just never, be like scrolling and scrolling. It's just real and shit. Like, it was just because what that is, right? Yep. No, yeah. no, no. What is it? Oh, I've dude. heard of it before. It, it involves yeah. a tomahawk and a penis. Oh. So, so basically, it's this, it's I've this heard website. <laughs> Good it's summary. This, it's this website where you scroll, like it's a continuous page of images yeah. and it starts out with like puppies and shit. And oh. then like it slowly goes to like dead animals and stuff. And then it goes into like just increasingly fucked up like gore images. Oh shit, yeah, no, no, I think I remember going on that one time at a yeah. friend's house. I'm, sure? I'm like, okay, this <laughs> isn't, fuck? oh, okay, Don't that's we not have I, 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 I did it because of peer <laughs> oh, pressure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that's what? most things are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did it because of peer pressure. Guys, by the pressure. way, uh, ad time. Ad time. Oh, ad time. Oh. <laughs> oh. This episode of the Misfits Podcast is once again brought to you by Burrow. So what's Burrow? Well, Burrow is a fantastic company that brings furniture shopping into the modern age, providing the ability to customize a sofa online and have it shipped fast and free within the same week. They strive to make high-quality furniture accessible to everyone. All of Burroughs' furniture is handcrafted in North Carolina using scratch and stain-resistant fabrics. And with their risk-free purchasing, if you find anything that isn't perfect about it within the first 30 days, they'll take it back. My personal favorite part about Burrow is that all of their sofas have built-in USB chargers, so I never need to get up from my comfy Burrow sofa. All of Burrow's sofas are modular, so it is extremely simple to buy more parts and add them, allowing you, your sofa, to grow with you. Burrow designed the height of their sofas to be 17 inches off the ground, the average height of the back of a person's knees to the bottom of their feet, ensuring the ultimate in cozy comfort. Burrow recently got named one of Time's best inventions, so you know you're going to love it. Save $75 today by visiting burrow.com slash misfits. That's B-U-R-R-O-W dot com slash misfits. Thanks again to Burrow for sponsoring the podcast. Wow, we really need uh, one of those fantastic Burrow ca- sofas. Don't yeah, try watch yeah. You know what? That ad was actually so good. You know, that- what? Let's, you, let's put- you know what's perfect about these two ad rates? You what? know what's perfect about them? Why? I just interrupted Fetson. He was about to transition yes. into the second we'll ad cut, read. We'll cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a great ad read, guys. It was so fucking great. Can so we get another one? Yeah, yeah can we so do another one? Oh my god. Encore. Encore. Fucking like, what the th- Okay? Do it again. Do it again, alright? What? It was fine. It wasn't fine. It was fine. It wasn't fine. It's it's everyone's talked at once. <laughs> it ruins the bit if everyone talks at once. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 
Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I'm sitting on my burrow sofa, I like to, you know, chill out and play some console games. Coincidentally, Devil May Cry is sponsoring us. Oh, yeah. Two ad reads. Wow, another ad read. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. This episode of the Misfits Podcast is brought to you by Devil May Cry 5, an over-the-top action-filled game rated M for Mature, now available on Xbox One. Ever need to just slice and dice some demons while looking hella nice? This game is for you. It features three cool demon hunters, each with unique playstyles. But don't take our word for it. Bleeding Call cool calls it an elegant symphony of obliteration. Jewel Shockers calls it one hell of a good time. And Game Rant calls it Devil May Cry, the perfect action game. So come on and kick some demon ass with Devil May Cry 5. And remember, game plays best on Xbox One. Thank you, Devil May Cry, for sponsoring the Misfits podcast. Wow, thanks Toby for those great ads. That thanks was that. Oh, that you're was welcome. awesome. And you know what? Thank you. A lot of effort in those ones. You know what? You're interrupting <laughs> me, but I'm also really appreciative of you. So, there oh. you go. <laughs> guys, thanks. thank you to Devil Maker right? <laughs> and also and to Burrow. Burrow for sponsoring the episode. Thank Let's you. get back to talking about and Smile Club, Smile Direct Club. What, Ryan? And three. Smile Direct and Club. Three three ads. Three. That's we not on the thing. Ads. All right, guys, here's the third ad. And that was such a great one. One man, man, man. Man. <laughs> The second ad put such a big smile on my face, I could go for a third. Let's hear a third ad. Are you a smile hider? Do you hide your teeth in group pics or just not smile when meeting someone because you don't like how your teeth look? Well, Smile Direct Club is for you. Smile Direct Club is a subscription box that provides you with the teeth that you deserve. With Smile Direct Club, you can straighten your teeth with invisible aligners sent directly to you. For only $80 a month, you can have a smile you'll love and a lifetime of confidence. No braces, no monthly office visits, and no paying a fortune. Smile Direct Club invisible aligners work gently and discreetly to gradually guide your teeth into alignment. And one of their 200 plus fully licensed doctors will oversee your plan every step of the way. Go to SmileTheRedClub.com to see real before and after pictures of more than 350,000 satisfied grins. Order a free impression kit with rebate or schedule a free 3D scan at one of Smile the Red Club's smile shops. Plus, Smile the Red Club has an exclusive offer for our listeners. Get $150 off your invisible aligners at SmileTheRedClub.com slash podcast and use offer code MISFITS. If you're listening, this offer is for you. Get $150 off at smilethereclub.com slash podcast and use code MISFITS. Thank you for sponsoring the podcast, Smile the Red Club. Whoa, a third yeah. ad. Can you believe it? God, That's content. crazy. We're so wow. rich now. So we can sit on our burrow couch playing Devil May Cry 5 and straighten our teeth at the same time. You're goddamn right we can. Oh, That's, That's fucking amazing. epic. Man. I love this this reality we live in. And I love money. Guys, this is the Misfits <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Here, we're just talking about a bunch of things. Ryan and uh, Didn't even Sam. Hear Ryan laughing in the other room. <laughs> Ryan and Sam, our managers, are in the other room. I say room. That really is on the other side of a thin curtain, uh, listening to everything we say. Uh, so say hi to them for us. Uh, Sam's Sam, asleep. Sam's apparently taking a nap. Ryan um, was asleep earlier. But yeah, anyway, back to the subject at hand. I don't think I'm going to be seeing this movie. Uh, I watched the trailer to, for us. It looks like a genuinely good film. Looks well made. Here's what Props we need to, to Jordan do. Peele. I just don't think I can do it. I have a plan mm -hmm. to, uh, to fix this horror issue you have. Uh, We're going to give you acid and then force you to watch <laughs> horror oh. movies. Yes. yes. I feel just like I might. Just fucking eyes open well. like glue them open. <laughs> I'll go amazingly. Too I, fix. I would actually <laughs> probably like just with draw into myself and never come you out of that. You know what would make it even better? <laughs> if we staged it like a saw scene. Oh, that so was like, it's like oh, real. No. Hello, yeah. Fitz. You give me a scene and then yeah. 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 lock me out with a tranquilizer and then I wake up in a room with like my hang. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like just like fucking Jigsaw character that sounds suspiciously like game. Swagger Souls. Like, hey, Fitz, wanna play a game? Hey, Fitz, wanna, wanna play a game? Swagger Souls sound like, anything like No, this is not Swagger Souls. No, I'm not Swagger. What are you talking about? Yeah. Fucking, hey, you want to play a game? No, we don't record till tomorrow. What are you talking about? Mm. The only thing with like 
horror movies. I could watch them. I could watch a horror movie fine because I understand that it was actors and it was acted out and well, it was recorded. That. And, well, and I'm an idiot. I know, I know. I'm <laughs> saying like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that I'm an idiot. I'm just a pussy. All right. In that sense, it doesn't bother me psychologically. But the things that scare me, like here's an example. The other day, I was cleaning up the house, and I'm just fucking. I'm having a look around, just making sure everything's clean. I look at the floor because I'm like, oh, are there any stains on the floor that I got to swiffer up? Yeah. And just around the fucking marble bench. A fucking huntsman spider, man. This oh, giant yeah. fucking huntsman Wait, spider. When was, when was this? When was this? It was maybe Brad. two days ago. What the two or three days ago. Was it like Huntsman's super early in the house. morning or super late? Last it was well. it was late. It was okay, late. I know exactly what that was. No. I was upstairs trying to sleep, and I just hear you go, What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was dude, dude. So it comes out and I just go, Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, I thought he like dropped a plate Dude. or something. And, like, so, and so I'm like, I'm like, okay, what the fuck do I do? What do I do? What do I do to yeah. kill this thing? I don't want this thing in my house. So I, I'm looking around frantically for something to use. What do you kill and, something and like that? And I was that like, way. I was like, okay, there's this giant spider and I, my eyes are right hey! on it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It. It's an image of a huntsman spider eating a gecko. Yes, <laughs> it was that thing. How big was it? It was like this fucking big, bro. It was huge. He's holding up like a hockey puck. Dude, right I'm I am <laughs> looking at this thing, making sure I do not lose track of where the fuck this spider is, and I'm just searching for something. I see the we have this small blue broom attached to a dustpan, and I was like, I could try to swat it with the broom, or I can hit it with the <laughs> dustpan. And then I was <laughs> and then I was thinking, like I had it in my hand, like I was gonna on guard. You need to do like your like, Dark Souls moves, trying to like jab and dodge. <laughs> 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 Someone draw a fan out of Swagger Souls, like boss fighting a huntsman spider in his Dude, helmet, please. I'm, I am fucking looking at this thing, and I have, I'm about to swing, and then I have a flashback to all the times I watched a YouTube video <laughs> of a guy hitting a spider with a broom and it crawling up the fucking broom, and I was yeah. like. Bad idea, bad idea. But what the fuck do I use to kill this thing? And by that time, it was just starting to move like further into the uh, middle of the floor. At this point, you just ask it to stop paying rent. Dude. Like there's nothing to do. Like, <laughs> we had I'm we good, had I'm a good. cardboard box filled with merch blanks. This heavy cardboard box, mm. and I was like, "What? I'll just use this." So I pick it up, put it over my head like an ogre, and I just fucking chuck oh, it. <laughs> Chuck I chuck the entire box at what? it and it just smashes on top of it and skids and there's this giant gunk <laughs> skid mark. Oh, no. Yes, I don't, I'm not fucking touching it. I'm not putting it in a cup. Oh. Fuck that, I'm gonna kill it. Let's put the box over it. It's gonna put fucking like die. Thing. It's dead and it died, Fitz. I'm sorry, I swept it out. All the Australians listening are like, fucking out. what, you got scared yeah. of a fucking house? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm from, I'm from America, America, dude. We don't have spiders the size of my face there. Whenever you talk about huntsmans to an Australian, their response is always, Oh, they kill the pests. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't give a shit. It's fucking huge and it's in my house. Oh my god. I was, I, I was like just poisonous like, or like, do they no, hurt you? No, I don't think like, they're poisonous. Oh, just, I've picked one up before. Oh, okay. I'm not doing that ever again. I'm fucking, dude, I'm, 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 I'm arachnophobic. I have a huge fucking fear yeah. of spiders and things that buzz and sting. Mm. I don't mm. like things that are fast. Which like is ironic. From your ex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's things. No, it's Hi, I'm Fitz. I'm a comedian. That was a joke that I wrote. It also helps that original. Swagger's ex was a spider. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why he's an arachnophobe. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking eight eyed bitch. It's also why he's a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of an arachnophile. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> don't even. Don't even like. I don't even want to know how that works. He gets, he, 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 he gets off to the eight spiders a year he swallows in his sleep. Oh, yeah. Some people got a foot fetish. Toby's got an eight foot fetish. Like, <laughs> eight legs. Imagine swallowing a fucking huntsman. Oh, Dude, no. imagine having sex with a spider. Dude, imagine that. Imagine I was watching that. that. <laughs> 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 I was just imagining that. What if they web all over my dick? Well, then that's just part of the fun, homie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's just and then I have to wait for it to metamorphize into a butterfly. I mean, no, like, yeah, like, like it's like in cuffs, will just like tie you up in the web. Or the some problem shit. is that the spider eats you afterwards. Like, that's always oh, not the fun yeah, part. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's the worst. Hey, at least it's head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, too much teeth, too much fang there. Too much, too much fang, fang, fang out of there, bro. Fang. Is that venom, bro? Come on, I don't consent. Oh, <laughs> too geez. much fang. Venom's what the Bill Cosby spiders Venom. use. <laughs> uh, uh, man, spiders, huh? But yeah, I mean, I just don't like horror movies. <laughs> that was literally like an hour long. <laughs> uh, I haven't watched a horror movie in so long, yeah, but make me want to watch one. The last one I watched was uh, A Cabin in the Woods, which is kind of like, it's like a horror 
almost comedy as well, but it's actually good. Mm-hmm. Which you know, you hear horror I've comedy. Heard of this movie, I've heard is good. Yeah, the ending is the twist is so cool, uh, and then the explanation of the twist is shit. But the twist is cool. Wait, they twist it and then they sit around and explain it? <laughs> well, like, there, there's a twist and you're like, like oh, what? Audience, did you understand what we did? You're like, this is crazy. And yeah. then they're like, this is why we do this. And you're like, oh, that's not very cool. <laughs> oh, you fucking ruined it. Yeah. You literally ruined your Legit, movie. though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's a good movie. Uh, and it's not that scary, but it's enough to be an entertaining horror. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that. <laughs> like, I, I if a horror movie doesn't scare me, then I'm not that into it, you know. And I feel like I'm it's so kind of desensitized that yeah. it's like boring. I think I'm not desensitized enough to enjoy them. Like they, they. Ooh, I got a crazy idea. I know what? how we can make you scared. Just take an edible, come with us tonight, watch this movie. You'll I'm be real scared. I'll uh, <laughs> be scared because of the edible, not because of the movie. <laughs> I kind of. I don't. I'm gonna regret saying this because Ryan's gonna hear me, but I feel like the edible might actually help, but I don't think it will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your Ryan face just is. says yes. All right, boys, it sounds like a great idea. Let's no, all take I edibles. Mean, go see this fucked yeah. movie. No, no, no. no. Boy, I need to be responsible and subtitle tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't I we do that in LA? I can't go with bucks and stuff. And we I got yeah. wondering. What's yeah. this scary yeah. horror game? Dude, that was fucked. <laughs> what was fucked? We watched The Conjuring on edibles in LA. In like oh, a yeah? theater room. Really? <laughs> a theater room was... shit with Keem stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he, he, didn't have, he didn't have edibles, just for the record. It was The Conjuring. Fun. Yeah, The Conjuring 2. You watched it on edibles. Yeah. It was so No wonder you, you went fucking insane in LA. <laughs> <laughs> nah, him and Bucks that? were cuddling. I I, I, was that with yeah. like the, that time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When are, you, when are you going to start experimenting with marijuana again, Jay? No. When are you going to start putting some THC through your blood? I don't need no THC. You don't think it'd be good for Fortnite funny moments? No. He's no. a Fortnite channel, dude. He doesn't do that shit. <laughs> wink, yeah, that's like... Wink, wink. <laughs> I didn't fucking Minecraft, yeah, Fortnite, I didn't wink all those, like, family-friendly kitty sort of games. The yeah. biggest stoners. They're all stoners. Yeah. <laughs> the Apart from stoners. Jay. Thinking Coke. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're going to be playing like a great Fortnite game tonight? Use code cocaine. Use code creamy. I just assumed you were already doing cocaine given the fact that you were like uploading on the day of an update. Yeah, like yeah. fucking yeah. staying up all night. Oh, God. It's just an irresponsible sleep schedule. Either that or coke. <laughs> and Why not do both? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, guys, horror movies, man, that's not my it's thing. Just not your thing. Horror games. Horror games, I love. Yeah. No. What's like that? Um, what's that really good one? I don't. I think Outlast. No. What's the one where amnesia? you're like? No, not amnesia. It's um, where you're sitting there and you're like Homer at Simpson your. Simpson hit run. That's it. No. Homer um, Simpson no. versus. It's where you're sitting there and you're like sitting at a computer or some stuff and you're like trying to track something down. But not pretty oh, same time. Like, oh. Someone's like, trying to kill you or something. Is it yeah. like some fucking like? It's called like hack or some shit. Something no, like that. Yeah, no, it's no, supposed to no, go on like no. the dark web. It's, and I it's figured out the game. Yeah, I yeah, figured out why it's so yeah. scary it's like a, though. It's like a psychological it, horror. It is. I it figured out why it's so scary because it's like the fuck out of you. Yeah, because you're sitting like it's the next best thing besides getting like a VR horror game. It's you're sitting there at the computer on your keyboard playing this game. So if you're on the keyboard, like on the computer in this game too, you're like, you hear any noise, you're like fucking checking over yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time they play. do that, it I'm pretty sure. sure. I'm pretty sure Fuck they, that. Uh, didn't that, that game have a PR, uh, a VR port where you can like, you know, you, your com- keyboard's still there. Yeah. And like, it's like you're sitting at the table mm. and then that makes Fuck it way that. more immersive. No, thank Fuck you. VR horror games. Fuck that. Yeah, I can you. do horror, horror games way more than horror movies because horror games, like, they're not good enough to be yeah, like, that's scary, the problem. That's I, the can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do horror games. I, 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 I've done so many streams where I do it, dude. Oh, those I, are the I did best a, streams though. I, like did, I, did a, I remember I did a stream over the summer, like a year or two years ago, where I did the entirety of Outlast and the entirety of Outlast 2. Mm. Scared Outlast 2 is fuck. such a trash game. Yeah, yeah Outlast 2 was way better. Yeah, Outlast 1 was good, too trash. I, I got so fucking scared. What I did as well, uh, was I set my donation sound so that it was like three dollars oh, yeah, yeah. was a base boosted Roblox oof that would like just scare me a bit and then this five dollar donation was like a um, like music orchestra like piano crash like I'm being chased yeah. mm-hmm. so that would freak me out yeah. and then uh, I think ten or fifteen dollars and above was Mason screaming shut the fuck up <laughs> bass boosted <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what I had for like the longest time when I did the uh, donation streams. Yeah. It was, we, should it was, pr- we should prank you by like setting those to your wake up alarm. Oh, <laughs> no. Shut the fuck no. up. No, dude. Like after those streams, they'd be like three hour streams and 
Oh my god, Alien Isolation was the only one that I did that I didn't finish. And mm. after one stream that I did, I had to lie down. I actually had to <laughs> lie down. I was so wow. fucked up over it. Alien Isolation is just fucking fucked. I did not <laughs> like it. I did not like it at all. Crazy. It's I so weird. Playing I like game out of pure boredom because of how not scary it was. I stopped playing because every I was too worried about the alien crashing through the ceiling and eating me with his little alien tongue. I, I see that that's weird that you because I can't do horror movies at all. I can do horror games any day of the week. I mean, fucking so that was a while ago. Yeah. And I was also hammered it up for the content. Exactly. Toby's gonna reference this unlisted video on my channel <laughs> from like three years, four years ago. What's even. so funny about it is the game is so shit. That's so shit. And the graphics are so bad. So bad. And it's so not scary. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so scary. I just wanted to have my little PewDiePie moment, okay? It's basically I just wanted 30 to... minutes of Fitz going, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> oh, what, yeah, it's what's unlisted. Happening? It's one of the few videos unlisted on my channel, and it's just this terrible horror game. It's like uh, like an indie horror game, so you know it's bad. And uh, like the monster is literally two pixels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was fucking like shitting my pants this whole video. I also played in the dark like at 3 a.m. though, so you know, I, there was that. I also remember but, on Halloween probably two years ago, we both streamed Outlast at the same time. And I remember uh, we were in TeamSpeak, but we were on Push to Talk, so we weren't talking to each other that much. Yeah. And I remember distinctly getting through the game like 10 times quicker than you. <laughs> and I assume that was because you were freaked out by <laughs> nah, it. Nah, not at all. Outlast 2 was. Oh, uh, yeah. The Alice it wasn't scary oh. because was you like could look freaky. behind you as you ran, which I, which kind of diminished the whole like, factor of what, being chased. What yeah. I mean, what I mean is, I can be like scared in the moment in horror games because mm -hmm. there's jump scares and shit, obviously, and like you feel tense, but I can walk away from them no problem. Like it doesn't bother me afterwards, yeah. whereas a movie would. Okay, that makes sense. And because uh, yeah, like I played uh, Amnesia games when I was young. I loved those games when I was younger. Like I, I played the shit out of them. Although at the end of Amnesia One, there is this weird part where like you encounter this torture room or something, or like diagrams of yeah. the torture instruments. And one of them was like a pyramid that like, like they get lowered oh, yeah, onto yeah. slowly like via yep. their asshole. And I was like, fuck this. Like, that's too much. Yeah. Like, I just, <laughs> I just don't want to hear that. Like, I just don't need that in my life. That shit was, was fun. I remember going to a, you know what Medieval Times is? Oh, uh, dude, there's so much fuck oh, they shit in Medieval fun, Times, dude. dude. Don't even get me started I was Medieval like, Times. I was like fucking 10 or something. And they had this room that was like a history room oh, or whatever. Man. And I go into it and it gets all dark in this one area. And I'm going there with my sister. She's like four years older than me. And like we're walking through, and it just starts going to like this these medieval like wooden etches of like actual torture methods and shit, and it shows the like the thumb screws and the fucking yep. the rack and yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the Iron Maiden and all that shit. They were and I'm the just dark ages for a reason. I am just going ages. like, oh man, they actually turned people upside down and hung them from trees and then sawed them in half with a saw. Yeah, that's that's um, kind of fucked. That like man, that's way worse than that. They did this thing where like they tied you to a barrel filled with. Or or something about something about a barrel with rats and like the rats basically starved so they're forced to eat through. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 put a like, bucket. Uh, fucking, they would like, they would put a rat on your stomach. Yeah, yeah. and then they'd put you know they they put a bucket onto your stomach oh. that covers the rat. Yeah. and then they'd put uh, they'd, they'd fire. put a fire on oh, yeah, top yeah, of the yeah, bucket, yeah, yeah. and then the heat yeah. would make the rat go fuck this, and it would just start tunneling through so, you. So the point oh, is like. Fuck. People have been fucked up for a while. Yeah, those yeah, 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 deserve yeah. the plague, bro. They deserve the plague. Yeah, like they got what was coming to them. That shit's fucking messed that up. Now fun. we just do that stuff in movies. I hope. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, this has been like really gruesome. But I think yeah, it's been probably, a bit of a, uh, fuck a gruesome podcast. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're just brightening your day with some should, comedy. Yeah, we just censor like half of it. Just mm -hmm. all the bad shit. We just censor out with just, like. I don't know, Jay's Fortnite commentary yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. Just fucking Easy. welcome to Fortnite <laughs> tips and tricks. <laughs> okay. Top, not even yeah. <laughs> this has been just a horror movie session and a reverse Jay session. And a mild episode. jerk off session. That's mild we, jerk off. We started mild out with a jerk off, off and then we just went downhill from there. We there. harmonized, we jerked, jerked off, off then we and finished. talked about horror movies. Hopefully next week will be a little more cheerful. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you for listening to the Misfits podcast. Thank you to Burrow, Devil May Cry 5, and Smile Direct Club. That's right. Love you guys. Mwah. And uh, we'll see you Mwah. next time. Mwah. I Bye. just said. Yeah, oh. Bye. 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 By the way, guys, Bye. Um, don't check the freezer for like the next two or three days. I'm just doing some stuff with it. All right. Okay. Wait, why are you okay. just putting that? Why would you, why you that? bring that up with the. We can cut this out. No, no we're not going to cut no, this out. No, we're not going to cut this out. We need to be. We need to explain what's going on in the freezer. What's going on in the freezer? He's freezing his shit to make a dildo. Ah. I was actually hiding a body, but. 
A body? Oh, oh just, who cares? I didn't, want people, I, didn't want I didn't want people thinking I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 It's the huntsman. In